Hi, I'm Rachel Mooney with the Mooney Group, and today we're gonna to discuss the pros and cons of forbearance. We might be just hearing this term forbearance and not quite sure what it is, so let's talk about the actual definition of forbearance in the dictionary. It is an intentional delay of collecting a debt or demanding performance of a contract. Well, many of you might be getting this option, forbearance option on your current mortgage, and it, it seems like a great option, and it very well could be. Uh, so first of all, I wanna have this disclaimer on it. I am not your CPA, and I am not your financial advisor. I am a local realtor here in Metro Atlanta. So a few things that I want you to ask yourself before taking this option to maybe help you decide if this is something that's good for you or not is question number one. What am I trying to accomplish out of taking this forbearance option? Number two is what is it that my actual uh, terms are? What is my payment? payback agreement on this particular option? And number three, what are the implications of this, uh, taking this forbearance option? So of course, you doing your research, talking to your local professionals, uh, your local realtor, number one, your CPA and your financial advisor will really be able to help you determine if this is the right decision for you or not. A few of the things that I do wanna talk to you about are some of the actual terms that we are seeing currently right now. So let's discuss the three common options that we are currently seeing. Option number one is the lender is going to allow you to tack on those delayed payments onto the end of your current mortgage. Number two is we're seeing that the lender is going to allow you to take that debt and they are going to spread it over the next few months of your payments. So for instance, if your current house payment is $1,500 a month, then that might move to $1,700 a month until that loan becomes current. The third one that we're seeing is that the entire amount may become due at the end along with the next house payment. So it's very important that you ask yourself these questions. Is forbearance the correct way and what you need to be doing right now? And only you are going to know that after doing your research. If you need to speak to a local realtor in your area, I am part of the number one real estate company in the world, and I can help you find a local real estate expert that can help walk you through this process. You also wanna make sure that you talk to your current lender, talk to your CPA, and talk to your financial advisor to help you make that right decision. I hope you found this information in this video helpful. Feel free to like, share, and comment below. Have a great day.